Hi friends, it's Dana here. Today I have a story for you that reminds us that every single one of us matters. It is all about a little earthworm named Carl and he finds out the special reason he's in the world. The book is called Carl and the Meaning of Life and it's by Deborah Friedman. Here we go. Carl was not a bird. Carl was not a bear or a beaver. Carl was an earthworm. He lived underground, moving, always moving, burrowing and tunneling digesting dead leaves, <laughs> feasting and casting, turning hard dirt into fluffy soil day after day. Why? <laughs> asked the field mouse gathering seeds. Why do you do that? Why? Carl did not know why, but now he needed to find out. So Carl stopped making fluffy soil. I'll be right back, he told the field mouse. He spotted a rabbit. Maybe she knew. Why do I do what I do? He asked her. Oh, goodness, dear, she said. I do not know. I do what I do for my babies. But Carl did not have babies. A fox appeared. Carl turned to the fox. Why do I do what I do? asked Carl. Who do I do it for? For whom, replied the fox. Alas, my meal awaits. I am here for the hunt. But Carl did not want to hunt. Why are you talking to a fox, cried a squirrel. Carl was startled because the field mouse is waiting and wants to know what I'm here for. The squirrel declared, I'm here to plant trees. Trees are where I sleep. But Carl did not sleep, not high in a tree and not without an answer for the mouse. He pushed on. And on, hours to turn to days until the soil was no longer fluffy. The ground around Carl turned barren and dry while he continued to search and ask what, who, and why. <sighs> but the birds had flown off to find grasses and fluff and the bear trundled away to look for berries. Soon there was nobody left to talk to. What about me? called Carl. The clouds were silent, so was the air. I will never find out, he sniffed. <laughs> then Carl heard his sniffle echo, followed by a squeak. I can't find any grubs, a voice cried. It was the saddest sounding ground beetle he had ever seen. Carl peeked under a stone. No grubs. Then he poked at the dirt. It was hard, like a rock. Where was his fluffy soil? <laughs> Suddenly, Carl knew what he needed to do. I'll be back, he promised. 
for hours into days, weeks into months, Carl munched, digested, left castings, and tunneled, and turned that hard dirt back into rich soil. You made my seeds grow, said the mouse. <laughs> Clover blossomed once again and the rabbit came back with her kits. The squirrel returned to plant new trees. The fox was lured by the hunt, all of them able to do what they do. How? Well, why not ask Carl? <laughs> the end. I have an author's note for you. It says, have you ever watched squirrels running around or beetles skittering by and wondered, what are they doing? And why do they do that? Just like Carl, every creature in this book has an important job. The mouse, rabbit, squirrel, fox, and ground beetle all need each other and our world needs them. Everything is connected, including you. How do you help the earth? <laughs> well, friends, I think that's a wonderful question. How do you help the earth in your own individual way? I can think of so many ways that I help the earth, and one is by reading with you. Thank you so much, friends, for reading with me. If you enjoyed this book, please give it a thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe so you can read with me more. Thanks, friends. Bye.